What's up guys, ID Mac here and um, this video is going to teach you how to jailbreak the new 3.1 firmware. Now this 3.1 firmware um, is going to be using Pwnage tool and this will jailbreak any iPhone, any iPhone or iPod Touch except for the iPod Touch third generation. So this will work for you know your iPhone first gen, the 3G, the 3GS, and iPod Touch first gen and second gen. All right, so without you know any more further talking, let's just get to it. So you're gonna need two files. You're gonna have to download Pwnage Tool 3.1.3. Uh, we'll have a link in the description. Very easy to download. And you're gonna need to download 3.1 firmware for your device. Now um, you're gonna go to this link. I'll have the link in the description, and you're just gonna click on this right here for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Then there's gonna have a drop-down menu. Now you're just gonna select for your device. You have to, you know, pick, select very carefully. All right. So you have um, iPhone, which is the first generation. You would pick 3.1 right here, and then for the 3G, you would pick this one. For the 3GS, you would pick this one, okay? So, and the iPod Touch, it would say 3.1.1. Um, and same goes for the iPod Touch 2G, 3.1.1. All right. So go ahead and select your firmware. I, I'm doing this on a 3GS, and just click download. And, oh yeah, by the way, um, this Pwnage tool only works for Mac, so... Your Windows user is gonna have to wait for that. Um, I'll make a future video when, if if the Pwnage tool comes out, I'm not sure, but for now it's only for Mac. Okay, so you're gonna open Pwnage tool once you have it downloaded. Um, open. Now connect your iPhone to your Mac, and now. Select your device. Um, well, actually, you're gonna want to select expert mode. And I'll type. All right. Um, again, sorry about that. Click expert mode and then select your device. Um, whether it's the iPhone 3G, I think the 3G you would select this also. This is the original iPhone, the first gen, and here is the iPod Touch. So just select your device. Click the arrow, the blue arrow. Remember, go to expert mode. Now um, it's gonna browse for the IPSW, the one that you downloaded. Should be uh, the 3.1 firmware for your device. All right, it's fa found it. If it doesn't find it, then um, you could just browse browse for it yourself wherever you downloaded it. All right, so click that, hit the arrow, and. Um, so you're going to click on Cydia packages and I'm just going to take off IC because I don't need it and I think it works better if you don't so and now you could um, I'm not going to want the boot logo and uh, recovery logo you could have this you know when it starts up instead of the Apple logo if you want to but that's just your choice um, click next and now build that's it click select build click the blue arrow and then it's going to ask you to save it to your desktop it's going to save it as a custom restore so it's going to be different from the you know the original firmware that you downloaded all right click save and now it's going to start building the the new custom firmware now this could take you know some time depending on your computer speed or whatnot so I'll be right back once this is done. All right, guys. So uh, once you're finished, you're gonna have the f the custom firmware, you know, on your desktop. Now um, you're gonna have to put your phone into DFU mode, and to do that, you could click on the DFU mode right here, and um, it will tell you the, the directions. But for some reason, I don't know why, my um, Pwnage tool is not showing the the instructions. I'm gonna go ahead and um, just play this video for you guys so um, you guys can see how to put in DFU mode. 
So first you're going to start out, you're going to get these instructions. Just turn off the device, make sure it's fully powered off, and now you're going to get ready to hold the home, I mean the power and the home button together. Now hold it for 10 seconds, the home and power button located here and here. Now um, release the power button, the button on top, release it, but keep on holding the home button for 10 seconds. And you should see this, okay. And there you go, your phone is in DFU mode. And if you get like an error message, just unplug the wire and then plug it back in and then iTunes should pop up now once you're in iTunes and your phone is there in DFU mode um, you're gonna hit option because we're on Mac remember and click restore now you're gonna look for that custom firmware the one you know right here remember don't install the the regular firmware install the one that um, opponents tool made okay um, choose it and then just let the whole restoring process um, do its part now as um, I always say this uh, anytime you're restoring or updating just you know be sure to sync your iPhone and you know uh, back it up you need to back up you can just right click on your uh, iPhone name and then just click back up now um, so that's the whole process uh, you know, thanks for um, watching my video. Please rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions at all, any comments, feel free to leave them in the, in the comment box. Or um, you could check out this, the Dev Team's blog, and then you could check out the the details and whatnot. Now, remember, um, I forgot to say, I forgot to say this, but you have to be. Um, your yeah, iPhone or iPod Touch has to be jailbroken um, before you could actually use the Ponage tool. So if you need um, to know how to jailbreak 3.0 or 3.0.1, you can check out my videos. I'll have them in the description. Very easy to use uh, Red Snow and just jailbreak it. It's very easy, much easier than this. So um, this doesn't cover anything uh, with the unlock. So if you're already unlocked, I suggest you don't up, update to um 3.1 because there's no real point. But um, yeah. So that's about it. Any questions? Leave them in my uh my comments. All right. Thanks for watching my video. I hope everything works out. Peace.